हेलो वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन स्किल इंडिया अ ग्रोथ इन यू थ्रू आवर कोचिंग टेक्निक आई एम तिरुपति नाइक पैरामेट्रिक सॉल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी आवर टैगलाइन इज विजडम सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड हैप्पीनेस टुडेज टॉपिक इज सीएनसी कोर्स सीएनसी स्टैंड्स फॉर कंप्यूटर न्यूमरिकल कंट्रोल अ प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स प्रोग्रामिंग ऑन वीएमसी वर्टिकल मशीनिंग सेंटर सीएनसी मिलिंग मशीन ऑन फैनू कंट्रोल सो दिस इज द कंप्लीट सेटअप ऑफ सीएनसी मशीन मेक बी एफ डब्ल्यू एंड कंट्रोल पैनल इज अ फैनू कंट्रोल सो दिस इज अ बेड एंड अ स्पिंडल द ब्लॉक डायग्राम वी आर फॉर एक्साम्पल इज शोन दैट इज एक्स एक्सेस y axis and z axis what type of operation we can do it on the uh, vertical machining center is there are different types of uh, like a uh, face milling end milling pocket milling slot milling drilling operation rimming operation tapping operation and boring operations this type of uh, operation on this machine we can do it a coordinate system the example number 1 so here to understand the drawing first so this horizontal line is the x axis and this is a rectangular plate and this is the y axis vertical so there are uh, different points are there to define the coordinate system so it is point 1 Point two, point three, point four, then point five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these ten points we have to define. So each point has given the dimensions here. We can see towards the x-axis and the y-axis. So we have to find out the two different types of coordinate system. One is the absolute coordinate system and the incremental coordinate system. So let's we're going to begin. the understanding how to create coordinate system for absolute coordinate system so as per the drawing over here given here that the first point so the in the tabular column i have mentioned the coordinate systems that is the first point so understand that this origin in absolute coordinate system is a global origin this is 0 0 so from here first point This is the point one. This is always zero in x direction, y direction also zero. And here the tool is above five mm. Okay, the tool is above five mm, and the five mm is here in the z direction. Then second point is here. So, so we have to add ten plus eight plus fourteen plus nine plus twelve plus seven. The addition of this all up to second. Point in x direction is a 60 mm, and in y direction, in the y direction, the second point is 0 0 because it is a horizontal on x axis itself. That's why second point the y is 0 and z is above that 5 mm tool is moving here. Then the third point that is 60 and this addition that is 9 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6 plus 8. If you add all, it becomes 40 mm. So in y direction is 40, and z direction 5 mm above. From third point to fourth point here, that is x along this x axis and y axis. Your fourth point is aligned with the y axis. That is why x is zero, y is 40, z is 5 mm above. So that is zero, x axis 40, y axis z is 5. Then from fourth to fifth point. In this fifth point. That is x is 10 mm, y is 9 mm. So that is 10 and 9, and uh, z axis is 5 mm above. From here 5 to 6 point, uh, that is again 10 plus 8, that is 18, and you have to add 9 plus 7 plus 10. So if you add this three, so this distance is become that is 26, and z is a uh, 5 mm above. Then from 6 to 7 point, that is. 10 plus 8 plus 14 in x direction that is 32 and again addition of this that is 9 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6 it is 32 so x is 32 y is 32 and z is 5 mm and then from 7 point to 4th point from 7 point to 
eighth point. That is, you have to add 10 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9. So this addition is 41 mm, and uh, y direction is 9 plus 7. That is 16. So that is x is 41, y is 16, z is 5 mm above. From eighth point to ninth point, that is again you have to add 10 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9 plus 12. This total addition is 53 mm. That is 53 and here it is 32 mm in y direction. That is 9 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6. That is 32 and uh, in z direction 5 mm above. So from here tool it goes here uh, uh, above. That is 5 mm. So that is 53 x direction. Y direction 32. Z is 5 mm. Then the last point 10 point. Add, again addition of in the x axis that is 10 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9 plus 12 that is total 53 mm and uh, y direction is 9 mm so x axis is 53 y is 9 and z is a uh, 5 mm so this is the to understanding of uh, absolute coordinate system from the origin we had mentioned all the points uh, from this origin itself that is the absolute coordinate system so dear friend, understand very very clearly about the absolute coordinate system, then we'll understand about the incremental coordinate system. So I have found that the many students get confusion with absolute and incremental. So here I am trying to understand and clear your doubts with the incremental method here also. In incremental method, the origin is here and whenever you are defining the second point, then second to third point then your origin is going to arbitrarily it shift or assume that this origin is shift to here that is this zero again from here to third point in that case your origin is shifting to every end point so consider that here the first point is uh, x is zero y is zero z is 5 mm above okay so here in incremental coordinate system your point is at 5 mm above in z direction from here it goes to the second point so this distance add 10 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9 plus 12 plus 7 is become 60 mm and uh, y axis is 0 and z also 0 why because it is moving along with the origin that is why z also 0 from second to third point uh, that's uh, x is 0 why? Because your zero, you are not considering. You have to delete everything, and the zero now it is the end point is zero. This particular point to third point to we are entering. So second point is zero, then third point is the end point. So we have to define x is zero, y is addition of nine plus seven plus ten plus six plus eight. That is uh, forty mm. So, x is 0, y is 40 and z is 0. So, here it is mentioned third point, x is 0, y is 40 and z is 0. From third point to again fourth point. So, thus now here become 0. Now, don't consider 0 from here or either here. 0 is third point is now 0. From here, this distance in x direction. So, this point uh, falls in minus x. So it's in the third and fourth quadrant. So that this is a minus total addition of this 10 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9 plus 12 plus 7. From this distance is minus 60 and uh, y axis is 0 and z is also 0. So here fourth point is minus 60, y is 0, z is 0. Again from fourth point to fifth point. So here this point from 4th to 5th point is falls in the 4th quadrant. So this is the axis x and this is y axis. So this is 1st quadrant, 2nd, 3rd and 4th quadrant. So this point falls in the 4th quadrant. I had explained about this in the previous topic in incremental method. So here we have to add this distance that is 10 mm and from here to here distance that is 8 plus 6 plus 10 plus 7. So this is the addition of uh, that is minus 31 okay so x is 10 mm that is this is the x axis plus and minus y that's why minus 31 and z is 0 from fifth point to sixth point 
this falls in x axis y axis first quadrant in the falls this 6 point falls in the first quadrant that's why x is plus that is 8 mm and here to this distance in y direction that is 7 plus 10 that is 17 so 6 point is 8 and 10 and 7 so this distance is 17 and z is 0 from 6 to 7 point that is 14 x plus and from here to this distance is 6 so that x axis is 14 y is 6 and z is 0 from the 7th point to 8th point again it falls in the fourth quadrant and uh, this plus x that is 9 and uh, from here to here that is uh, 10 plus 6 so here this distance is 16 that is minus 16 so 8 point is 9 Y is uh, minus sixteen. Z is zero. From eight to ninth point, again this distance, this this point falls in the first quadrant. That is why this is positive x. That is twelve mm, and uh, y is also positive ten plus six. That is sixteen. So here the ninth point is twelve, and uh, y is sixteen. Z is zero. From ninth to tenth, the last point, this which is falls in the fourth quadrant. That is why x is uh, zero. And uh, y is minus, so that it is falling in the same axis in the y direction, so that uh, that is x is become zero, and y distance is six plus ten plus seven, that is minus twenty three, and uh, z is zero. So I hope that you understood of uh, all the incremental coordinate system I had explained in this example. Uh, thank you so much.